Good afternoon. There will be no CCD for grades 6 through 8 on Sunday, January 7th in the parish building due to the snowstorm. <clears throat> Monday, January 8th, Father Frank will be celebrating Mass at Serenity Gardens at 2 p.m. On Monday, January 8th, there will be CCD for grades 1 through 5 in the parish school building starting at 544, depending upon the weather. Thursday, January 11th, there will be a charismatic prayer meeting in the church at 6.30 p.m. Sunday, January 14th, the Catholic Daughters of the Americas will be having a meeting and Christmas luncheon following the 11 a.m. Mass in the parish hall. Coffee and conversation for January is canceled due to a scheduling conflict. There are 2024 home blessing door markers for the Epiphany located on the tables in the back and side entrance table of the church. The parish bulletin can be viewed by going to the parish's website, http colon slash slash rev frank carwaki dot net. Today we recall the Magi who, drawn by the star, journeyed from distant lands to find the newborn king of the Jews and present him with their finest gifts. We each make our own journey to the Lord, and when we come to celebrate the Eucharist, we offer our finest gifts, our prayers, our lives, our future, to him whose birth we have just marked. Let us in turn welcome all those who are making their journeys from near and far to worship the Lord. In a special way, we remember Helen and Victor Perdokas during this Mass. Intercession of St. John Neumann and St. Catherine Drexel, who served in our diocese and helped by the intercession in times of war, disasters, violence, drug abuse, homelessness, and terrorism. The important give us your wisdom that we build a community found on the values of Jesus, which gives respect to life and dignity of all human life from conception to death. Help us to value one man and one woman who come together in holy matrimony in order to create a loving home for children who are conceived in a sacred union and not destroy that conception. Help us to value our elderly who must retreat with dignity and to end their lives. Help us preserve our religious freedom as guaranteed by the U.S. Constitution. Help us to foster and promote vocation, our family, acquaintances. Hear our prayer and give us the perseverance to be a voice for the life and human dignity in our country. St. John Neumann and St. Catherine Drexel, hasten help us and pray that we be a holy family. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Guard protection against the wings and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. Do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the other evil spirits who prowl to the world, seeking to ruin us all. Amen. Our opening hymn is number 112 in the Missalette, the first Noel, number 112. So, I'm going over today. Major scene. I'm gonna bless those things you put above the door. Here's over there. Yeah. Well, the angels. Yes. Thank you. In fields where they lay. In fields where they lay. They lay. In the cold winter's night. That was so deep. 
uh, for the Feast of the Epiphany, the call of the three kings, we have, you know, uh, Casper, Mel Melchior, and ba Balthazar, and it's 2024, and a little prayer to protect your house, you can put above your, your door or something. So I'm going to bless them here, and they'll be available on the way out, and you can get some. As we place the sign of the three wise men above our doors, we pray, God our Father, as the three wise men, the three magi, Caspar, Melchior, and Balthazar, offered their gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh to your son Jesus, may we offer our lives, our families, and our homes to him. And may we have your blessing of protection on our homes, abodes, and places of gathering. We ask this through Jesus Christ, your son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Can you, get, can you set up incense for the, the altar being in the God bless you all for coming out tonight. You're very hearty souls. The Lord bless you and protect you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, our Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Word made flesh and the splendor of the Father, Lord, have mercy. Lord, Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the heart. And honored, peace on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King. Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, you take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand, the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone. the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God, this is my ear, sorry, and on earth, peace on earth, 
let us pray. May the splendor of your majesty, O Lord, we pray, shed its light upon our hearts so that we may pass through the shadows of this world and reach the brightness of our eternal home to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit of God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Rise up in splendor, Jerusalem. Your light has come. The glory of the Lord shines upon you. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick clouds cover the peoples. But upon you the Lord shines, and over you appears his glory. Nations shall walk by your light, and kings by your shining radiance. Raise your eyes and look about. They all gather and come to you. Your sons come from afar, and your daughters in the arms of their nurses. Then you shall be radiant at what you see. Your heart shall throb and overflow, for the riches of the sea shall be emptied out before you. The wealth of the nations shall be brought to you. Caravans of camels shall fill you. Dromedaries from Midian and Ephah, all from Sheba shall come, bearing gold and frankincense, and proclaiming the praises of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you have heard of the stewardship of God's grace that was given to me for your benefit, namely, that the mystery was made known to me by revelation. It was not made known to people in other generations as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit, that the Gentiles are co-heirs, members of the same body, and co-partners in the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of King Herod, behold, Magi from the east arrived in Jerusalem saying, where is this newborn king of the Jews? We saw a star at its rising and have come to do him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was greatly troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. Assembling all the chief priests and the scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus has been fulfilled through the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of, of Judah, since from you shall come a ruler who is the shepherd, my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and ascertained from them the time of the star's appearance. He sent to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the child. When you have found him, bring him, bring me word that I too may go and do him homage. After their audience with the king, they set out. And behold, the star that they had seen at his rising preceded them until it came and stopped over the place where the child was. They were overjoyed at seeing the star, and on entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother. They prostrated themselves and did him homage. Then they opened their treasures and offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed by their country by another way. The Gospel of the Lord. Today we celebrate the Epiphany, which means manifestation. A manifestation of what? Well, the manifestation of the light of Christ. The Magi were led by a light of a star, a star which God created, of course, and which all things were created through Jesus. And it says in the scripture in the New Testament, all things were created through him. And I, Isaiah wrote, as you heard in the reading, darkness covered the earth. And Isaiah also wrote, and thick clouds over the people. Well, what kind of darkness? Well, there was all kinds of other things going on at that time. There were wars, wars going on and political intrigue and all kinds of things but also mostly spiritual darkness, the root cause of most darkness, you might say. The darkness right now covers the earth for us. Two wars that are being raged right now in the Holy Land, the war in the war in Ukraine, and spiritual darkness is emanating from, I would call them the radical, diabolical terrorists who have no respect at all for human life. Other spiritual darkness from Satan worship, and that's occurring on in public places, heresies, and a spiritual darkness from emanating from those who have drifted away from the Lord and could come back. We pray they do. Isaiah prophesied, but over you a light shines emanating from the face of Christ, the infant child. Ultimately, that light is the light of the world. Jesus said right in the gospel, I am the light of the world. And by the way, when Jesus died on the cross, remember what it said? That darkness came over the land and nature began to grumble, you might say. But then we go to the resurrection and Jesus comes out of the tomb emanating this life-giving light. The Magi, the wise man, came to Jesus and basked in his light. 
and gave him gifts. As you know, the gifts, gold for a king, and indeed he is king of the universe. Frankincense for a priest, for priests offer incense, and he's the, king, he's the high priest. And then myrrh, which reminds us of the anointing of Jesus at his death. They had the custom of getting perfumed oil, called myrrh, and putting it on the body of the deceased. And that prefigured his death, his passion, and of course, even his resurrection. Isaiah wrote, and this is, applies to us now. He says, Arise, your light, will, your light has come. Yes, the light has come. Jesus is here. The glory of the Lord shines upon you. The light of Christ shines in our darkness. And we're told that, that light cannot be overcome by darkness. And his light shines in our loved ones, by the way, who passed on to the Lord. What's, what's that prayer we always say for loved ones? Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. And what? Let perpetual light shine upon them. The light of Christ, of course. So we need a deeper appreciation of that light of Christ in, in our own lives. You know, we are tempted to walk into the darkness and even to nurture that spiritual darkness. We've all heard this statement. We described somebody who said, there's a dark side to that person. No, he seems like a really good guy, but there's that dark side. It's always a secret side. And sometimes when the person seems to be very good and all of a sudden when we see in the news the dark side came out about them. So we can fall into darkness too. Gradually we can fall into it by, through uh, being, you know, taken up with the worldly things. We can gradually allow the darkness to lure us into greed or pornography or envy and many other dark temptations. But St. Paul said, you are children of the light. Walk as children of the light. Yes, Jesus is calling us into his marvelous light. His wise men were led to the light by a star, and they entered the very presence of Jesus, as we heard in the gospel, and the light, his light was shining upon them. So Jesus sent us beacons, two major beacons that help us to walk into his holy light. Who would these, I would say, who would these beacons be? First of all, you know, Mary has many titles. One of her titles is Mary, Star of the Sea. As you know, when they navigate the seas, they didn't have the instruments we have now on computers, and they used the stars to follow where they were going. The Star of the Sea is a guiding stars. And number one, of course, the divine and ultimate beacon is the Holy Spirit himself. By the way, the Holy Spirit has many titles, but actually, one of the titles of the Holy Spirit is Light of My Soul. Think about that. The Holy Spirit is the light of my soul. He's in my soul and he's moving me and guiding me in the right direction. So we pray, Holy Mary, Star of the Sea, lead us closer to the light of your Son Jesus. And Holy Spirit, light of my soul, guide me always to the light of, you, of Jesus. Always be guiding to the light of Jesus for us. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. To him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death for us, buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He is sent to heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds with the Father and the Son. For the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As members of the one body of Christ, co-heirs to the promise of salvation, 
We pray for God's grace to fill our needs and the needs of all. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, that we may reflect the light of Christ as we preach the gospel, minister to those in need, and exercise our Christian values, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the light of peace may permeate our world from the rising of the sun to its setting, so that all may live free from the threat of hostility, violence, and war. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our young people will be open to their unique vocation through prayer and will adore Christ the King by their faithfulness to his call. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died recently, that they may be gathered into paradise by Jesus, the bridegroom and lover of our souls. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, for all our intentions, spoken and unspoken, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let's pray. God, Lord of light, much as the Magi at the time of your son's birth, we look forward to, we look toward the light of Christ to lead us in, on our journeys. Hear the prayers we make as we continue to on our way to you and grant them through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, the light of the world, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Our hymn of preparation is number 107 in the Missalette, We Three Kings, number 107. We three kings of Orient are
Just make a lot of smoke. Take it outside. Thank you. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, we pray, O Lord, our offerings to honor of the appearing of your only begotten Son and the first fruits of the nations, that to your praise may be rendered an eternal salvation be ours through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for today you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations. And when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the powers and hosts of heavens, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who Therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition to Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, and all those who are holding to the truth and on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants and all who gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you alone, and for all those who are dear to them, for our redemption of, of, our, of their souls and hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal and living God. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help through Christ our Lord. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this sacrifice of our oblation of our service, that of your whole family, order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation, and count it among the flock of those you have chosen through Christ our Lord. Be pleased, O oh God, to acknowledge and accept, to bless and acknowledge and approve this offering in every respect, so it may become an acceptable to us, to you, so it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread into his holy and venerable hands, with eyes raised to heaven, to O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, 
he took this precious chalice into his holy and venerable hands. And once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. By your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as one who are pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that of all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember, O Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, and all who sleep in Christ a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, and all your saints, and minister we seat you into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon, to Christ our Lord, to whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and save from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Take away the sins of the world. 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. For I am not worthy to enter my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
those who are participating by YouTube will do our act of spiritual communion, written by St. Alphonsus Liguri. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already here and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. For those of us who just received Holy Communion, we can say to Jesus, I embrace you because you're already here in my heart and in my soul. Let us pray. Renewed by sacred nourishment, we implore your mercy, O Lord, that the star of your justice may shine always bright in our minds and that our true treasure may ever consist in our confession of you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Be careful on the way home. Sente le scale quando uscite. That's in Italian. Watch the steps going out. Our recessional hymn is number 86 in the Missalette, Joy to the World, number 86. The Lord has come. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare His name. And heaven and nature sing to you. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and heaven and nature sing. Joy to the world, the Savior reigns. Let us our songs employ. While fields and floods, rocks, hills and plains, repeat the sounding joy, repeat the sounding joy, repeat, repeat the sound. Wonders of his love and wonders of his love. 